So this is where the corn trail ends. Like I was saying before, all of this fancy machinery came along. Now there was only two ways to harvest the corn. Now, the man has quite a few acres planted in corn, you know. The easiest way is to use this husking peg. I got one right there. Now this is one of them metal ones, you know, that you get. You can carve one out of wood for yourself like this, too, and, and put a strap it on your finger with a leather strap. Yeah. Now, I see what you do is everybody starts at one end of the field, and then we just walk down the rows with a peg in our hand, husking the corn. We just take it like that, and we rip it right off of there. And then we throw it in the wagon, just going along by the side of the field there. You know, when I was younger, I could throw them cops up in the air so fast, it looked just like popcorn to go on there. That was really something, boys. You should have seen him. But you know, nowadays, I don't have so many acres in corn anymore. So for me, the easiest way is to use this corn knife to harvest the corn. Now what do we do? As we pick a, a center hill of corn, and we leave that standing in the ground. And then, for maybe six or seven rows all around that, we take this corn knife and we cut the corn stalks off right down close to the ground, just like that. Then we take all of them cut stalks and we bring them up and we tie them to that, that center hill of corn that we left standing there and we make a great big corn shock out of it. I know when we first started out, I used to use grasses to tie the shock together. I'd make a big rope out of grasses, and I'd tie the shock together with that. But nowadays, you know, we use twine mostly to do that. Well, now you, you mentioned something about uh, fancy machinery, Albert. Well, you know, Reverend, them things cost a lot of money. Well, uh, I, I've seen them around here. Yeah, well, see, we share them. We, we buy them together, and, and then we share the, the corn pickers or, or the treasures. See, and, well, at harvest time, now we just go from farm to farm with a machine and a big threshing crew until all of the work is done, and that way we can all afford to buy a thresher. Now, a thresher is a machine that's used to thresh wheat. I'll explain. You see, threshing used to be done by hand. When my grandpa first settled his land, his very first crop was wheat. It was essential for food, easy to grow, and usually very hardy. That's why it's a frontier crop. For wheat, you had to have special harvesting equipment. Now, at first, the equipment was very simple. A farmer could tell exactly when to start cutting by rubbing some wheat between his hands. Uh, just like this. If the chaff, or the outer part, cracks easily, then he knows it's time to harvest. And you blow on them. That's a chaff going down there. What you got left is the kernels of wheat. Now you can take those kernels and put them between your teeth. If they crack like that, it means they're ready to harvest. If you leave too many in there for too long, you get gum. He'd cut the grain with a scythe. Or use a single blade scythe like this to pull it across, or the cradle scythe. Now, with every swing of that thing, you get a whole bundle of wheat, and somebody else comes along behind, they gather it up and tie it together into a tied bundle. We stack many of these bundles together, like Pa's showing you there, and we get a whole shock of wheat, and that is how we dry it. We'll be right back with Eureka 